In this video, we'll learn how to publish your website on the internet. So in order to upload our website to the internet, we need two things, a .com name and a web server space. So web servers cost a lot of money. So what we do is we get a web hosting account where we can use a company server and pay just a couple bucks a month instead of paying a whole lot for our own server. And with most web hosting accounts, a free .com name or domain name is already included. So there's a number of web hosting companies out there, but there's just a couple that always end up at the top of the web hosting rankings across a number of different review websites. And one of them is Bluehost, a company that I've been with for many years now and that I've been recommending for years also. So in the description of this video, if you wanna use Bluehost, there's a discounted link and I'm just gonna walk you through signing up before we go ahead and upload our website to the internet. Okay, so once you've clicked the Get Started Now button on the front page of Bluehost, we'll be presented with three different options. And all you really need is the basic option where you can upload one website, you get one free domain name, and then you can also create a couple of email accounts if you wish. So I'm gonna hit select for the basic option, and then we can add a new domain name or add a domain name that we already have. So I'm just gonna write W3Newbie2 because if I put W3Newbie, it'll say that's already taken and then I'm gonna select next. So once we've done that, that's gonna bring us to the create your account page where we can enter our account information. We can also sign in with Google. So I've added some info here that's not my real information because as you probably realize I'm already signed up and then underneath that we have the package information where we can select from 12 months to 5 years or 60 months I would recommend the 36 month option if you know you're gonna have a website for a while that way you can take advantage of the lowest price and then obviously we get the free domain and free SSL or security encryption which will give us the uh, secure sign here for our domain name along with HTTPS and the um, URL instead of just HTTP. Then for the package extras, none of this stuff is necessary, but the only thing that you might want to get is the domain privacy protection. So basically if somebody looks up your .com name, they can't get your home address or any of the information that you have. So I'm gonna leave it unchecked for now, but um, I do have that for my websites, full disclosure. And then uh, underneath, obviously, you can add your payment info here, and then select that you have read and agree to the terms of service, and then hit submit to sign up. So I'm not gonna sign up right now because I already have an account, but once you're signed up, it's gonna bring you to the login screen so I'm gonna go ahead and log in to the back end automatically and this is the C panel so we're gonna come back to the C panel in just a few minutes but first I'm gonna show you a really great program that makes it super easy to upload our websites to the internet so we can streamline it and make changes to our websites on the fly and that program is called FileZilla so let's go ahead and get FileZilla then we'll come back to C panel to get a few credentials to use FileZilla to upload our website to the internet. So do a Google search for FileZilla and this works for Macs and PCs. So then you want to select download FileZilla client. So for this, uh, for you to go through the process of uploading a website to the internet, you obviously need a web hosting account. So in the resources section of this page I have FileZilla and the web hosting company that I use and have been using for years called Bluehost. So once you have FileZilla downloaded, all you need to do is go up to Site Manager and then we're gonna add a new site. This, is, this will be your Bluehost account. So all that we'll need for the new site is the IP address for your Bluehost account, the username, and the password that you signed up with. So it's very simple and I'll show you how to get that from Bluehost. So we'll just want to write or sorry select new site and then you can put your web host or Bluehost in here. So let's go over 
and um, let's get the IP address and then you obviously want to change logon type to normal and then under that we'll just get a username and password so your username is going to be something similar to the domain name that you get with Bluehost so okay let's go over to Bluehost and get the IP username and password so here is Bluehost and I'm just going to log into my account and then here is my username at the bottom down here and then um, so I'll just use that as well as my password and let's get the IP address so go up to manage IPs and then here is the shared IP address that I use so just copy that as well as your username and your password that I hope you saved when you created your Bluehost account and then let's bring it back over to FileZilla the FTP account so we can upload the website to the internet so select new site you'll want to put the IP address in here under host okay and then we'll change the logon type to normal then add your username and then your password and once you've done that all you need to do is select connect and it will save that information so whenever you want to connect to your web hosting account like I just did here go down to public underscore HTML and that's where we want to drop the template files or your website files onto the root domain name so that public underscore HTML will be whatever the domain name is that you signed up for Bluehost with so I'm just going to drag and drop all of these files here and then we'll see that it has uploaded to the internet that's exactly what's happening right now so I'm just going to go to the test domain name that I've been using okay so now if I go over to drewonq.com a domain name that I don't use anymore but here we have the website template that we uploaded to the internet on FileZilla uh, with our Bluehost account so that does it for this video thanks for watching if you have any questions about using Bluehost uh, please leave them in the video description or you can email me at drew at w3newbie.com thanks for watching